they want me to pay before they move the truck. I was crying because I just needed to know whether I have to start buying new stuff. I was sleeping on a camper cot. For some, it's a moving nightmare. The people that you hire overcharge, damage your stuff, or worse, hold your furniture hostage. The Canadian Association of Movers says that nearly one in four professional moves last year ended with a complaint. But one company is trying to change that. Two men and a truck has established a customer's bill of rights. Dan Hopkins is Canada's uh, chief operating officer of the company, and he's here in studio to tell us about this bill. So, so why did you decide to do this? Well, the biggest reason is we want to protect the Canadian consumer when they move their belongings and their families to a new home. Mm -hmm. Last year, 4.4 million Canadians moved. And unfortunately, That's a lot, isn't it? it is. And unfortunately, a lot of these families were caught up in the web of these unethical moving companies, and they were defrauded of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. So, so let's let's go through. I mean, you know, the idea here to find a good mover. Exactly. Um, and and the first tip that you have here is to get a quote. For sure. The biggest thing that customers don't do because they're pressed for time is get a quote. Yeah. If you can find a mover that'll come to your home, do an in-home estimate, and give you a written quote, explain all of the terms and conditions of their move, that's the mover you should use. And and, and one of the ways you can find a good mover too is just ask. I mean, good reputation if you've had friends for or sure. family. Absolutely. Ask friends, family, co-workers. Our two men in a truck franchisees generate a 94% customer referral rating from the moves that we do. Mm -hmm. So referrals are a big source of moving leads for moving companies, particularly the ethical ones. How much research can you do online? Virtually every moving company has a website now. So you can go to the website, you can investigate them, you can also go to your local Better Business Bureau's website and they rank all of the moving companies normally in your region. Uh, make sure they're insured. Boy, oh, for sure. Okay. The biggest issue that we find is moving companies don't train or insure their employees if they're, if they're not part of a larger membership like the Canadian Association of Movers. All of us ethical movers belong to an association like that and we're able to insure our, our uh, movers, we're able to train them properly and we're able to ensure that the customers are being protected. What about the Canadian, so the Canadian Association of Movers, it, 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 tell me about that, I mean, is that you, 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 primarily you would advocate looking for somebody who's a member. For sure. If, if you're looking for a mover, that would be my first place to start. Most ethical moving companies are affiliated in some way, shape, or form with the Canadian Association of Movers. Mm -hmm. What that is, it's, it's a membership of all moving companies that operate in Canada, and we all operate under a same standard code of ethics, and that is to put the customer first. We don't want surprises on moving day with customers. It hurts our industry, and that's what this whole Canadian Bill of Rights is all about. It's about putting the customer first, and protecting them against unscrupulous moving companies. How many how many companies are out there in your estimation that are just basically you know a few guys gotten together they've got a truck um, they might you know we, we've had many stories here where just all sorts of loopholes and yeah. all sorts of you know ends up people holding you know holding furniture movers holding furniture hostage. I mean how 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 often do you hear about those stories? I get the phone calls at my office on our one eight hundred number when this actually happens, and it breaks your heart. To hear customers and they're calling you to say, can you take the rest of the move? Is exactly. That a, yeah. We had a, uh, one of our franchisees have a customer call in that he had given a quote to. They'd gone with another company. He was incensed that this was happening to them. So he called up his moving crew while they were on the job, found out when they would finished. He sent them over to the customer's home, and they rescued them. They moved yeah. them into their new home. The problem is we did 5,800 moves last year. That's one customer we were able to save. Yeah. We have to do a better job as an industry to protect consumers from this fraud that goes on. So don't be enticed by the cheaper price at first. That's the big That's issue. Thing. Okay. Thanks very much, Dan. Thank you for having us.